Peppa Pig and Fireman Sam have both just started to have food and it was dinner time at the Ponte Pandy fire station when Peppa said, Hey Sam, I've got a few friends coming over today, is that okay? And Sam said, Of course, who's coming? So who would come for dinner with Peppa and Sam? I wonder who it would be. And out of nowhere came in Tom Thomas in his Ponte Pandy helicopter and said, Hey guys, food looks great from up here. Do you mind if I join you? Of course not, said Sam. So Sam joined and said, Hey, come on Tom Thomas, land the helicopter so you can come and join us for food. But there were still more places at the table. There was four in total. So I wonder who else would come to have food with Pepper and Sam. Of course, it's Ryder from Paw Patrol. And Ryder said, Oh, look at that. The table's just the right height for me. I don't even have to get off my quad bike. Wow. So Tom Thomas got out and shook Sam's hand and said, Thanks, Sam, for letting me have food with you. That's okay. Come on, let's tuck in. So Peppa Pig, Fireman Sam, Tom Thomas and Ryder all started to eat their food. And it was really tasty. Mmm, so good, said Sam. Hope you guys like it. But out of nowhere came Officer Steel. And Officer Steele said, Is there any room for me, Sam? No, there isn't. There's only four plates and four knives and forks. But Sam said, That's okay. I'll jump up and you can sit in my chair because I'm full now. Oh, really? Sam was so generous as he hopped off. And Officer Steele took his place. And Pepper said, Oh, I love having food with my friends. Do you guys like having food with your friends? If you do, comment below and like this video. Thanks Sam, he makes the best dinner ever. Don't forget to subscribe, Fireman Sam, said Peppa Pig. Marshall and Tom Thomas were all at the Ponte Pandy fire station and they were just about to do some work on the 4x4 when some of their best friends came round, which was George, Pig, and George said, hey guys, as he sniffed. Marshall. And Marshall said, what are you sniffing me for? You smell really good, said George. Where's Naughty Norman? asked Fireman Sam. Oh, here he is now. Hey guys, Naughty Norman said, how is everyone? And Tom Thomas said, we are just fine, Naughty Norman. How are you? We are great, said Norman and George. So what are you guys up to today? asked George and Norman. Well, we're going to work on the 4 by 4 Really? What are you going to do to it? We're going to clean it. We're going to check the wheels. And we're also going to make sure the sirens are working. Because come and look. We just cleaned the helicopter. Wow, said Norman. It's looking super clean. Could you take me out in it? Asked Norman. And Sam said, Oh, I can't right now, Norman. You'll have to wait. But Norman doesn't like waiting. So George and Marshall had just watched everyone going over to the 4x4. So once they were cleaning and working on the 4x4, George and Norman were left alone. This was dangerous, because we don't know what Norman and George would do on their own. When Norman jumped into the helicopter and he said, Come on, George! And George jumped in. But everyone didn't realise that Norman and George were in the helicopter all on their own and they weren't supposed to be. Uh oh, said Norman. I think Sam can see us. And Sam said, wait Norman, don't go anywhere. Stop right there, said Sam. But Norman had already started the helicopter's engine and off they went, up into the sky. Hold on, said Norman. <laughs>
Finally, Norman landed the plane safely. This meant they were in some serious trouble in the Pondipandi fire station, and Marshall, Tom Thomas and Fireman Sam weren't happy with Norman and George. They said, what was you thinking? You guys could have got in some serious trouble then. You could have crashed. You could even be in hospital. And Norman said, it's okay. I've watched you thousands of times driving this helicopter, Sam. I know exactly what to do. As he ran away. And Sam said, come back. And Norman came back. He said, you may know what to do, Norman. But that doesn't mean you qualify to drive such a heavy piece of machinery like a helicopter. And Marshall and Tom Thomas said, you guys need to be very careful in future and never use the helicopter without us again. Okay, and they both said sorry. So the moral of the story is, you shouldn't use someone else's helicopter without using them. And if you do, make sure you're safe. Fire Don't forget Sam to subscribe. Pig and Officer Steel said they were waiting for some of their friends to come round. And they were waiting for Rocky and Zuma to come round. And when Rocky came round, they all said, Hey Rocky, hey Zuma, how are you? And Rocky and Zuma were great today. Wow, look how big this fire station is, Sam. This is much bigger than the one in Pontapandi. I know, said Sam. This is our backup station where we keep Peppa Pig's fire engine. Really, said Rocky. Do you mind if you show me around? Could we go up to the storage room? Of course you could. It's only a small room though, so only one of you will be able to come up. So Rocky said, I'll come up, and Zuma can look at Peppa Pig's fire engine. Great idea, said Officer Steel. Go on then, Sam, take him up. So once they got ready, they went inside. And they have to go inside to get upstairs. When Rocky said, wow, look at Peppa Pig's fire engine. It's got a fire extinguisher, a bucket, and an axe to the top. Cool stuff. Let's go upstairs, said Sam to Rocky. Oh, you're right, Rocky said. There's not much room up here. We've got a fridge, a chair, some cones, and a stop sign. I know. It's not meant for garbage trucks, see Rocky. As Peppa Pig showed Zuma her fire engine, they were all having loads of fun. Alright, time to go back down, said Sam. Come on, Rocky, it's time to go home. So Zuma and Rocky had a great day at the big fire station. And Peppa, Officer Steel and Sam said, You're welcome to come any time, guys. So if you guys like this fire engine, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more from Peppa Pig and Sam.